Hello everyone, Me Speed here with another video. Now today I'm going to be doing something a bit different. Um, this is going to be a tutorial or a guide for how to download and play Battlefield Heroes in 2022. Now a lot of people did request this kind of video and I will say, I mean, there have been videos like this in the past. Um, I mean Nitro for example, he uploaded a pretty good video on how to play the game. Uh, a couple of years ago, but I don't know, I guess people wanted uh, me to do it, or just to have, I guess, a video with commentary, because I'm, well, I haven't checked all of them, but I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, not many people, if any, have done, like, a video like this with commentary to it, so, yeah. So, I'm just going to do this in the order that I know, and... You know, um, if you just follow along with this, um, hopefully it should all go well. Obviously, I should say here, if you do have some issues, um, really the Discord um, is going to be a big part of, you know, finding out what you need if you've got a problem. Um, and obviously because the game has been around for like four years now, um, well, longer than that, a um, little over four years, there should hopefully be an answer to the problem you've got. But hopefully you don't have one anyway. But... If you do want to ask something, I'll still try and answer it, but I'm not always the best person. Anyway, so, you want to go to the Rising Hub website, uh, risinghub.net as you can see here. And uh, the first thing you want to do is click on Login and Register. So, I'm going to start fresh here. I'm actually going to make a new account just for the purpose of this video. Um, just so it's, I guess, more fresh and you guys can sort of see me doing the uh, most of the process, really. So, if you click Register now, um, basically... Yeah, I'm just gonna just gonna do this. So once you've entered everything you need, just press register, and there you go. So basically, um, what once you've got through this stage, you're heavily prompted here to link uh, your Discord. Basically, um, that's definitely a big part of this process. Um, you know, you do need um, Discord. You need a Discord account. But I'm assuming if you're someone who you know is playing a lot of uh, PC games or you just you know use your PC a lot anyway um, you've probably got discord but obviously yeah if you don't then um, just go ahead and do that um, that's a pretty straightforward process but I would hope that most people are already sort of connected that way okay so the next thing really that you want to do um, they are obviously prompting it here um, but I'm not actually in the discord server um, for this account here so if we click discord It is now going to prompt me to join the Rising Hub Discord, which I'm going to do. And as you can see, um, I don't have, you know, any kind of um, roles or anything. I'm just kind of like a bit of a new player here. So now that you've joined the Discord server, you want to go back onto the website. And um, I believe you could probably do this. I mean, you can do this in your profile as well, actually. Let's just see. Um... Yeah, I think it should be under linked accounts. Yeah, so you can do it here as well, but obviously it's obviously prompting you um, pretty obviously here, trying to tell you, you know, do this. Um, so you want to click here just to link the accounts, basically. So once we've gone through that process, um, once we've linked, um, pretty simple, just log in again to your Discord account and authorize it. And now you can see here um, it's linked the account. So then what you need to do... If you go back onto Discord, you can obviously now see um, there's a bot channel, which you can find if you just scroll down under other here. Um, and what you need to do basically um, is type refresh like that with an exclamation mark just before it. And as you can see here, you now get confirmation here that you are now a player and everything's worked properly. So after everything's linked, you're now able to create heroes. You have that ability. So I'm going to show you uh, two ways to get to that screen to be able to do that. So if you go here and you scroll just over your name on the website, there's a create section here. And as you can see, you can choose between, you know, royal or national. And you can do just the standard stuff, you know, uh, skin color, hair color, uh, facial hair, that kind of stuff. If you go onto profile here as well, there is another button here to do this. And obviously you can see here you've got all the classes you can choose from. Um, so I'm just going to do one right now. I'm just going to randomly make one. Um, let's just do royal. As well, I, I just want to make this pretty clear. I'm just going to go back for a sec. Make sure that you are choosing the right 
stuff here um obviously as you can see like the the hero um will change depending on what class you've chosen um and it will sort of mention it as well um you can see obviously the weapon and the outfit changing but i should i should mention that you can only create six heroes per account so just be careful with that uh, make sure you don't create a hero that you don't need uh, for example so you could do a national gunner a royal gunner and then you know carry it on like that so you could have basically all the classes across all the factions so don't make you know if you don't want to you don't have to do that but some people in the past have made the mistake of making like two royal commandos for example and obviously you know not everyone wants to do that and yeah it's just something to to, to be aware of but i'm going to choose a commando here uh, just for this example um, chosen for all this stuff and i want this to be a royal so i'm just going to give her a name here and moment of truth to see whether it's taken or not because uh, sometimes that can be annoying okay so that's fine the hero has been made so what do we do now so you can obviously keep making more heroes if you want to and i think i will make one more um just to you know balance it out so let's do a national obviously you can do this as well surprise me if you really want to but i've got a feeling people make the mistake by clicking this because they obviously don't always know what it does um yeah, it doesn't just change up the facial hair and everything. It does also just give you a random hero. So just be aware of that. Um, so let's just go back with what I was doing. Um, yeah, let's, I'm fine with that. And another moment of truth to see if this name is taken. And I think we're fine. So there we go. So I've made two heroes pretty easily there. If you don't get the name you want straight away, um, don't really be too annoyed because with games in general um that's going to happen you know if a game's been around for a while a name that's kind of desirable might already be taken um but yeah obviously just uh just see what you can do with that so i'm going to go to heroes here and you can see these are the two that i've made um the the royal commando and the national soldier and if you do click on them here uh if you just click on them here you can see obviously there's nothing here um there's a thousand vp because everyone starts out with that which is quite nice um, but yeah, um, when you are in the game, when you've played a few rounds, um, this will obviously update, um, every time you get into a game basically, and you'll be able to see, um, various stats and obviously equipment, you know, uh, your abilities and all that kind of thing. Um, just stuff like that, that you'd have that you could see in the game, but also stuff that you probably can't, such as these heroic moments here, um, which are kind of interesting to, uh, to see. Um, as well as like other things like this will update, you know, once you start playing a few rounds, um, it'll show you, you know, stats on the, the maps you've played on and, you know, vehicles you've used and all that kind of stuff. So it's quite interesting. Um, and you've got obviously the mission section here as well. So that's it for the, the hero creation process, um, and the profiles and stuff like that. Once you've done that, the next step would be to download the game. So to do that, just go to the home page here and if you hover over this the game section uh, scroll down to download and obviously you can see here you've got a number of choices um, personally I chose launcher from memory um, so yeah but obviously it says here you know if it's a slow download you can choose one of the others but for me personally guys I just went for the launcher because I believe from memory um, the launcher is just a very simplified version anyway just an easier download I suppose and once you've downloaded the launcher basically you need to check your hard drive or your C drive for example in my case um, I have seen this for a number of people it is under the C drive um, so if you just go to that or whatever it is for you um, your respective thing and then if you go into games you'll then see rising hub here there's a folder here um, and if you scroll down once you've gone into the rising hub folder you'll see rising at the bottom here now this is actually the um the launcher itself um so i'm going to double click that now okay so once you've actually opened the launcher and it's downloaded everything it needs to you can then log in with your account information so we'll go ahead and do that and hopefully okay so as you can see here um it is just going to do the general checks that it needs to do but you can see here you'll be able to see your name at the top here um obviously how many players are online the servers and stuff like that um and obviously your hero level and play time as you can see i'm uh i'm a very uh avid 
fan of the game, as you can tell um, by these stats. Once you've done that, you want to get into the game and play. So if you go here, you can actually choose servers um, and favorite them to then join them uh, once you've opened the game itself. Um, so you can see obviously here from this tab, you can see all the servers that are running currently. But as well as that, and to be honest, this is the way I do it anyway. If you go back to the website here, you can actually see servers under the game. You can see there's a tab here for them. So also be able to tell certain information. So you can see obviously how many players are in the game, the average level and stuff like that in the server. But if you scroll over here, you can also see um, how many different types of classes people are playing in the server. So you can see here on the Royals, um, you can tell that there are four gunners and um, you know you can just see that information and if you actually hover over and click this icon um, the information here you can see um, you know server rules and stuff like that you can see you know um, information such as you know specific people in the game and also you know stuff like banned weapons class limits so there's one here i've just clicked on it um, you can see here obviously there are quite a few banned weapons and a few weapons that you can see are banned in a combination, so like dual long range shotguns, pirate pistols, stuff like that. Just something to be aware of that you can't, that I know of, see from the actual launcher itself. So I think it's better to go in through the website to try and uh, choose a server. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is just click on, I'm just going to choose a random one here. Okay, I'm just going to click on this one. So what you need to do is basically just hover over the server you want and if you click the star here it will favorite the server. Now what this means it's essentially telling you this is the server that you obviously want to join. And from then you'll need to basically go back onto the game, go to the launcher and if you just click play, so I'm just going to do that now. And as you can see the game should hopefully pop up for you. It should log you in and you can see here obviously the heroes that you created so i'm just going to go into uh, this one here you can see now i'm actually in uh, the launcher itself um, like i said this is the hero that i made just recently um, obviously you can see here different weapons and stuff like that and you can go to the store and ideally with the thousand vp you've got um, you know just buy a few weapons to start out with that you're happy with um, that you'd like to use um, i'm going to do that later probably but yeah and you can see obviously you can do appearance and stuff like that as well if you really wanted to but i'm just going to press play now and see if it's worked if actually favoriting that server on the website means that i can get into it right now basically same as you remember from the old game just click the uh the big play now button and yeah it is showing buccaneer bay so i'm assuming it has worked As it slowly loads here and as you can see yeah this is pretty much the server just going into full screen here but yeah you can see um this is the buccaneer bay server that i did try and join um that i favorited so yeah guys it's pretty much um as easy as that to get into a server pretty much as easy as that and um yeah hopefully hopefully everyone's okay with this hopefully it's um going to work for you as well if you are a new player um i did try you know i tried to do this as if I was starting out completely fresh, um, you know, with a new account and everything like that. So, yeah. Um, and obviously, make sure you join a better server than me because this doesn't have any players. Um, yeah, so just a, a tutorial video here. Hopefully it's helped some of you out that have been asking for it, um, how to play the game. And like I said, if you've got any questions, um, let me know. But obviously the Discord itself, um, there's a help section and like a tech support kind of area, um, which should help as well. Um, so yeah, hopefully it helped, um, and hopefully you can start getting into the game pretty soon and enjoying Battlefield Heroes again. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.